A wake-up call and how are experts reading into this? Who better than Vinod Mehta, editor-in-chief of Outlook, joining us right here on Business Tonight with his views on the bipolar elections. Thanks very much, Mr. Mehta, for being with us. Uh, is it really fair to draw a larger national picture from these bipolar results where the BJP has actually been dropped? Well, I think it would be quite fair because although the BJP is very keen that we see these only in their local context, the overriding message of these elections has national implications. And that overriding message to the B is to the BJP that the communal polarization doesn't yield dividend. In fact, it's, it's, it, bo it has boomeranged, it's counterproductive. And uh, they have to go back to the drawing board. All right, while talking about going back to the drawing board, a quick question there. They have rejected resoundingly all efforts to polarize. Uh, do they squarely and vehemently want development instead? Absolutely, absolutely. And I think that the, the, the message of these elections goes straight to the Prime Minister and his uh, Lieutenant Amit Shah because they crafted the strategy for these elections. And that strategy, at least in UP, was to polarize uh, the electorate and, and, and try to win from, from, from that polarization. And the Prime Minister himself was accused by many people, including me, of remaining silent when communal elements in his party were raising the communal temperature. And we all urged him that he must admonish and rebuke those people in his own party and other parties and say that the strongest action will be taken against those people who play communal mischief. But Mr. Modi never, never said a word. And I think this is a black mark against him. Mm -hmm. Mr. Mehta, how do you expect the BJP to change its approach now? Do you expect the Prime Minister uh, and the party president Amit Shah to crack down on these, uh, on, on these forces, on the so-called communal rant? Do you see them changing tack? Well, you see, I mean, what's the use of communalizing a particular situation when it doesn't yield results, and it does not only yield results, it's counterproductive. Because the fallout of the UP polarization was felt in Rajasthan even. So I, I think that they will have, I mean, in, in, they will have to jettison this whole strategy simply because it's costing them dear. And the other strategy, which was used during the general election, which was Sarak Bijli Pani, that yielded good results. So if they got any sense, I mean, they know which strategy to follow. Right. Mr. Mehta, do you expect a renewed focus now on economic revival, on development? Because, you know, it was on the plank of development that the BJP came to power on the 16th of May. Uh, do you see them now focusing on these core issues in other polls? Well, I'm, you know, at the end of the day, the BJP is a sensible party. I mean, it's, it, it's not made up of fringe elements and lunatics. And anybody can read the message from this election. I mean, you don't have to be a great political scientist to read what message this election gives. So uh, if, 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 this, uh, if, the, if the BJP have any sense, they will get back to something just which three months ago or three and a half months ago did wonders for them. I mean, you must ask the question, that how come in three months the voter mood has changed? I mean, three months ago in UP, they gave them 71 seats. Now they've turned on them. And the most surprised people in this election must be the Samajwadi Party, who have such an abysmal record of governance, and yet they've got the maximum number of seats by default. Appalling governance, according to you, are going to come to opposition in just a bit. But will these results dilute the bargaining power with, say, an ally like Shivsena? There is already so much tension that one is seeing between uh, talks. The prime ministers had to step in today. Well, I think it, it, it does because they can no longer play the great champion and the great victor anymore. I mean, they are vulnerable. And the Modi wave did not last very long. I just lasted over three months. And Modi, him, Mr. the Prime Minister himself, in the interest of his own party and his prime ministership, must ensure that uh, he, he, gets, he gets these elements into, in hand. 
you see there is no question that these elements were encouraged i mean otherwise how could you speak out like this this whole love jihad business is such patent nonsense and yet uh, you know it was encouraged and the panchajanya and organizer covers if you see uh, had the story so they can't deny that they were using it mr mehta does this also explain just to be the devil's advocate at one level the impatient nature of the indian voter they want instant results they want instant coffee they want instant results when they vote you in it doesn't tell us about voter impatience but it tells us something about the majesty and the wisdom of the indian voter it it tells the it tells us something that he is very sensible and he does not want social disharmony and he's he, he he's not going to be allowed to be hustled into something the bjp were hustling him into so i think this shows the wisdom of the voter and it it shows that you can't fool the voter all the time i think more more than uh, anything else This is a triumph for the Indian voter. It's a triumph for Indian secularism, and it's a defeat for communalism. As I'll let you have the last word. Then uh, uh, Congress and the SP must be really thrilled because few expected them to do this well uh, in these bypolls. But what are the lessons for the opposition? And do you think they're taking undue credit here? But you know they shouldn't fool themselves. They didn't. They didn't get these seats. The BJP lost it to them. I mean, they, I, I hope that both Samajwadi Party and Congress Party don't think this is some vindication of their present policies. This is not a victory for Samajwadi Party or the Congress. It's the defeat of the BJP, and and by uh, by default, a victory for the Samajwadi Party and the Congress. I mean, you just have to look at the record of Samajwadi Party in UP. and you mean to say tell me that they won eight seats because of their record in governance i mean they have an appalling record find us on facebook at facebook.com/etnow and don't forget to click the like button you can also follow us on twitter at @etnowlive to stay updated with all our programming hit the subscribe button on our youtube channel by logging on to youtube.com/user/etnow